Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Pratiksha Bhadoria, and I, along with my team, Vikas and Amjit. So here we are to discuss about another agenda that we have. Uh, can we take? Can we go to the next slide? So the attention agenda for today's topic is what is ingress job and all the stages inside it. The next is difference between the on-prem and cloud SaaS steps following to load the data. And the third is how to create connection for flat file in IDMC. So the first point I will discuss about it. What is ingress job and all of the stages linked to it? Yeah. So by the definition, as it says, an ingress job is a process designed to import data from external source systems. External sources systems can be anything. It can be SAP. It can be uh, any uh, Excel, Excel flat file system. So these are the two basic examples that I gave. But external source systems can be any, any system it could be. So... What it does is it imports the data from external source system and it pastures this data. And then finally, after all of this, it stores the data inside MDM SAS. So this process ensures that the data that is actually inside MDM SAS, it, it is consolidated, it is in the correct form and it is in the consistent state so that it can be used with the different applications of MDM SAS. Coming on to the stages of ingress job, the first is data extraction. So over here, like it, uh, the name automatically suggests this, that we have to extract the data. So the data is re -extr extracted, retrieved from external source system, which can be databases, files, applications, or any web server. This extraction is facilitated using Informatica cloud, da cloud data integration module. This is called CDI module, basically. So as we can say well, here, uh, down it is written import ingress and the opposite would be export xgress. So currently we are learning about the import part, basically, not the ingress part. So we have to actually what we do in the on-prem so it is defined the ingress process is defined for pre-landing to landing then to staging loading then tokenizing then match and merge so this process hap happens on the on-prem while in the uh, cloud SaaS, a different process ha actually happens that is start transform load index and then generation the tokens that is, the process get completed. Yeah. So the next is data transformation. So once you've got the data, now what to do with the data? So basically, you have to make sure that the data is in the consistent state. You have to perform different transformation. That can be cleaning process to get the valid data in the consistent state. So th this is what it is written over here. Include data cleaning, standardization, validation, and enrichment. And Informatica Cloud Data Quality, CDQ rules, they also can be applied during this stage. That is the data transformation stage. As, uh, yeah. The third stage of the, the ingression, the data ingression, is data loading. So you have already collected the data. Now you have already uh, performed a validation on the data using the cleaning, cleaning functions and all. Now the third stage is data loading. So in this stage, it is very important that the mapping that is done from the data that is to be mapped to the target. So it has to ensure that it is actually mapped into the right, right data wherever you are going to map that data, but write data clutter basically. 
So this involves mapping the data to the appropriate business entities in the fields with the MDM. Yes, and then it states it ensures that the data is stored correctly and it is ready for mastering the golden data basically. So here in the example, it has shown that the search for the organization or person. So here basically we are searching for the organization and then here it uh, says that the process has been successful. Uh, it is an instance ID, the token that is actually assigned, the start and end time, the duration, and then how many records are processed. So total number of records are two and total successful records are also two. So there is a failure over here. Yes. So ne next is tokenization. So tokenization, like we used to do in on-prem, a uh, token used to get generated. However, in SaaS, it is a, it is a manual process. In tokenization, in uh, after the ingress job, the key attributes of a record. So key attributes as in the name, other records, name, organization, um, any number related to that. So all of these are converted to into tokens. And these tokens helps the matching engine to compare and identify the duplicate the, there is. Okay, so like given in the example, there is an instance ID that is the token basically. And uh, that attribute has been converted into token and it shows the success, uh, start time, end time and the duration it has taken to convert to token. Yes, now. Yes. Uh, so here yep. we discuss difference between on-prem and cloud search step follow to load the data. Okay. So now move to the next line. So there are various ways we can load the data on on-prem or cloud search. In on-prem, we can extract data from sources, multiple sources like uh, using Power Center, Informatica data integration, or we can directly do the database con connection. For that, we need to create landing table. We, after that, we can extract. And after that, we load the data into a staging table. OK. So after loading the sta staging table, we need to do the data cleansing and transformation. So after that, we apply data quality rule using IDQ uh, before sending the data to the MDM hub or master data. OK. Uh, after cleansing, we have to uh, run the job match and merge. We have to define the match rule and merge rule. So after for uh, for identify duplicate record and consolidation state using match rule configure in the console, hub console. After that, we have run the job match and merge. After running the job, the data will be inserted into the base object table. The data will be master data. Or golden data okay like that the cloud says in the loading process in the cloud cloud says in the cloud cell we have a user uses cloud data integration or we can use a rest api soap api to import data from cloud or on pin sources there are there are many way we can uh, import the data we can import directly Using flat file, we can import it. And after after we can sell, importing the data, there are staging data staging layer. There data will be stored in temporary form. After that, we can uh, we can do the cleansing transformation. We apply some rule and validation, and uh, we can do the matching. It will after matching, it will load the data automatically. It will transform the data. It will autom automatic merge, match and merge. Okay. After that, it will load and it will create indexing. It will generate to it will generate token. It will automatically do all the thing. After that, it will load the master data into the repository. In okay, it is stored master data into MDM SAS. So there are many ways we can load the data. Okay. 
ओके थैंक यू सो मच सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट हाउ टू क्रिएट कनेक्शन फॉर फ्लैट फाइल इन आई डी एम सी वी हैव डन ऑल द थिंग्स हाउ वी कैन प्रोसेस द डेटा फ्रॉम प्री लोडिंग टू मर्च एंड मैच एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट द गोल्ड एंड रिकॉर्ड सो हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द फ्लैट फाइल इन आई डी एम सी वी विल सी दिस स्टेप्स सो लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट लाइट to create a flat file in uh, idmc flat file connection we have to do uh, so for connection we have to go to in administration first and uh, there we have to uh, go to the connection port okay so in within the connection you can see here in the ui interface that this is the ed, uh, connection there you can see so you have to click the first connections and uh, in the connection before before the connection what what you have to do uh, in the runtime environment there you can see we have clicked the runtime environment first uh, you can see the runtime environment user interface here what you have to do you have to check that what type of uh, secure agent are running uh, in present okay so you can see informatica cloud hosted means cloud uh, hosted uh, secure agent are, is running now and this two local secure agent are stopped we do not need uh, the local uh, secure agent here for the connection uh, we need this only which is running here so you can check the first the, which secure agent is running or not okay we, uh, and after the checking this uh, secure agent you have to go to the connection and within the connection what you have to do you have to connect uh, the flat file what flat file you are going to uh, make okay wait okay so access the administrator service i have already uh, tell you login into the in your informatica intelligent cloud services you have to log in there in iics account and uh, then you have to navigate to the administrator service clear so administrator service uh, you have to then initiate the new connection because we have to create connection so for that we have to create flat file for that okay so in the administrator interface you have to click on the connection tab click the new connection button typically located at the top right corner you can read this uh, presentation what i have uh, written so after this step you have to follow uh, these steps like configure connection properties what uh, properties you have to configure like name you have to give the name of your connection there and description it's a on your choice that uh, it is optional that you have to provide a description for clarity what type of connection you are going to create and type select flat file from the list of connection type which flat file you are going to connect there so you have to select flat file also you will uh, able to see the options uh, within the configuration runtime environment runtime environment means you have to choose the appropriate runtime environment i have uh, shown you Okay, before uh, going to the connection, you have to check runtime environment. That's why you have to choose appropriate runtime environment there, which runtime environment or which secure agent you have to choose there. So that access to the flat files. Okay, ensure that the secure agent in the environment can access the specified directory. That's the must. Or uh, then directory you have to choose, specify the directory path where the flat files are stored. Means you have to give the flat files uh, directory and uh, this path must be accessible by all uh, secure agents in the selected runtime environment uh, because it it will uh, show error if secure agent are not able to find those directories so it it will uh, uh, create some error that's why it is uh, necessary you can enter the path manually you can enter your path manually like uh, the c directory and whatever the directory is you have you can uh, write the manually or use the browse option to locate it okay so you have two options for that and the date format you can choose uh, in any format you can match the data fields in your flat files like the default format is mmddyyy means month date and uh, year hh mmss hours minutes and seconds so this this is the format for date format and uh, code page Choose the code page that correspond to the character encoding of your flat files. Means what uh, the characters? Okay, the code page is that uh, what type of 
uh, data type are included in there. So you have to choose uh, the code page also for your flat file there. So you have to choose these things for the configuration. After uh, doing all these things, you have to test. If test is successful, uh, you have to save your connection. After configuring all the properties, you have to click the test connection button to verify that the connection parameters are correct and that the secure agent can access the specified directory. Clear? If the text, uh, test is successful, you have to click to uh, save to create the connection. This is all the simple method you have to uh, do for uh, creating any connection within the IDMC. So this is a uh, interface you can see here, uh, connection name, description, type, what type of uh, file you are choosing here, flat file I'm choosing. Uh, flat file connection properties, runtime environment, you have to choose that uh, particular secure agent you want to choose for creating the flat file, directory, date format, code page. We have seen these all options in previous slide. Okay, so after doing all these things, you have to, uh, you are able to see the save option in the uh, right upper corner. So after clicking that, you will uh, see this pop up. The test for this connection was successful. If there is any error in secure agent section, so it will show you red color error. So you have to fix those uh, secure agent error uh, problem. And then after you have to do the connection again. So these are the things you have to choose like uh, here type. Within the type, we have different options you can see here. Okay, business 360 events, business 360 FX. Whatever the type you want to choose here, it all depends on your need. So you can choose your type here and you can make your connection. So thank you uh, so much for this uh, lecture. This is all from uh, our team.